we got to pay for ourselves and pay for our what? Ultimately. We want to get up out of here. And they have rewarded me, evil for good, uh -huh. and hatred for my love. All right, read that. Stop. The book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 2. All right. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Chapter 4 and verse 2. Continue in prayer. The Lord say, continue, continue in, in prayer. prayer. Right. And watch in the same with thanksgiving. And we got to watch in the same with thanksgiving, meaning giving the Lord thanks, not only praying to Him when we have, not only praying to Him when we sad, right? Or when we in a good estate, or when we're receiving one of His benefits, then we pray. Right? You got to continue on prayer all the time. Right? Read that again. Verse 4. Uh, yeah. It's the book of Psalm, chapter 109, and verse 4. Yo. For my love, they are my adversaries, right. but I give myself unto prayer. Right. And they have rewarded me evil for good right. and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him. What the Lord say? Set, set thou a, a wicked, wicked man, man over him. him. How is the Bible just all about love and peace when the Lord just says, set a wicked man over him? Let Satan be there, right? Would you guys really, uh, uh, be Latina? Do y'all believe in God? Do y'all believe in God? How about you? Jesus Christo? Yeah, you believe in who is it? Jesus Christo? Quieres, quieres buscar uh, uh, su, uh, su palabras de Jesus Christo? Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned. Right. And let his prayer become a sin. All right, so even, hey, guess what the so-called white man was saying? You know, only God can judge me as well. But guess what? Hey, there's a prayer in the Bible for Esau for his prayers, to, hey, for him to be condemned when he is judged, right? right? There's no escaping that judgment, right, Esau? Like these other nations, right? There's no escaping the judgment for those hearts, right? So when God can only judge you, hey, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get condemnation. Are we going? Let his days be few. Right. And let another take his office. And let another take his office. And you know that's about the so-called white man because that's all they dwelling is their offices. Right? I'm already at the office. Right? Guess what? Ain't another man gonna take your office. I'm gonna answer like that. Look at Psalms, chapter 35 and verse 1. Plead my cause, O Lord! Plead my cause, O Lord! So we're continually crying to God, crying out against the most high. Because he's our refuge, he's our protection in a day and evil. With them that strive with me, right. fight against them that fight against me. Right. And, and guess what? We want the most out of fight against our enemies that fight against us, man. Right. And we waiting for that day. Right. We're gonna get a praise and fame in every nation, every land. Right. When, when Yahweh Shah comes back. Right. The King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Right. Verse nine. Let his children be fatherless right. and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and bed. Let them seek their bread also out of a desolate place. Also out of their desolate places. And that's gonna happen, right? These nations gonna have to seek their bread out of desolate places. Where Jacob's trouble kick off, right? When World War Three kick off and war in the Middle East and you over here, man. Right? Hey, what do y'all got a problem for you? Right? Right? What it says the bride rules gonna be destroyed in the world. Right? Because that time is coming. And there's a prayer in there for a purpose, so we can pray for that time. For these devils to go into slavery and to be destroyed, huh? Right there in their kingdom, huh? Right? But guess what? His children will be eating bread out of desolate places. Right? You see that? In 2nd Amos chapter 16. Right? Yeah, it's not that good. Book of 2nd Amos chapter 16 and verse 32. Yeah. And the earth shall be laid waste and the fields thereof shall wax old, right. and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel therewith. Right. Do y'all believe in God? Do y'all believe in Jesus Christ? Y'all believe in Jesus Christ? He's going on, King. What's going on, King? You believe in God, King? What's your nationality? Y'all Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Y'all gotta repent and keep the commandments. And right. put on some modest clothing. All right? Read on. Verse 33. The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The Lord say. The virgin shall mourn, mourn, having no bridegroom. Right, because hey, guess what? This man gonna be taken out the earth, huh? And guess what? His wife gonna be crying, mourning. Right? They go his wife, they go his kid, and he gonna be missing out the picture. Right? He's gonna be missing out the picture. She's gonna be 
more than too much respect for her son and her daughter. She don't want to put on the damn pants in that day. Are you doing? The women shall mourn having no husband. Right. Their daughter shall mourn having no helper. The, the what? Her, their daughter shall mourn having no helper. And guess what? Hey, eating out their desolate hey, children gonna eat out of desolate places, man. Are we going? In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Right? So I guess what? I got my dad in my life. These other nations, you know, I grew up with Paw Paw, right? I grew up with, you know, I grew up, I grew up with my, uh, uh, my great granddad, Ding Ding. Right, but guess what? He, hey, Paw Paw and Ding Ding gonna be taking our third from that day, man. Right? It's over with for them. Read on. And their husbands shall perish of famine. And their husbands shall perish of famine. That's why, did you read that again? And their. No, no, not you. Read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 109. Chapter 109 and verse 10. Oh. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Right. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Right. Let the extortioner catch all that he has. Right. And let the stranger score his labor. Let, let there be let there be none to extend mercy unto him. Right. Neither let there be any to his favor. It's like you let Neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. And then nobody's gonna be able to favor Esau's fatherless children. The most I said he's not gonna have, he's not gonna have any favor. He's not gonna have any mercy upon on that woman. He's not gonna do it. Right? Isaiah chapter 27. I think it's chapter 27. Isaiah chapter 27. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 26, whose voice then shook the earth, right. but now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. Right. And this word yet once more signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken as of the things that are made. Right, so we shake the world with this world, huh? I mean, with this word, huh? That's all we need. That's all we need to take the damn devil off the earth, huh? Right, we praying on his downfall. Right, we praying with his word. We live in Yahweh Shah, man. Guess what, man? That's all we do. Right. That those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Right. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and with godly fear. And we're looking for that. Right? Go to Isaiah chapter 24, verse 1. Because when this word comes, I go to Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Right? This word is different, man. Right, our enemies, can, they can't see that we're building a temple with the same exact word they left to the Negroes, or right? they left to the African Americans, right, because they can't read, they don't got no education. But guess what, now we started building something, right, read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 29. Right. Yep. Is not my word like as a fire? What the Lord say? Is, Is not, not my word like as a fire? fire? Saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rocks in business. So it's like a hammer, man. And what is a hammer doing? A hammer can break things, and a hammer can build. Right? So guess what, man? We build it with that same hammer that we break it down. Huh. We break it down these strongholds, man. Huh? Same time we build it, we use it to break down. The book of Isaiah, chapter 24, from the top. Oh. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, right. and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and, and, what? and turned it, it upside, upside down, down. Right. and scattered abroad the inhabitants thereof. And scattered the broad inhabitants thereof. When this word comes out, it's like we turn the world upside down. Huh? Right? Isn't that what our forefathers called by Silas? It was out there turning and shaking things out with the word. Huh? Right? Yeah. All right. Verse 2, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, and with the maid, so with her with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, and with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury unto him. Verse 6, therefore hath the curse devoured the earth. Therefore had the curse devoured the earth. Curse devoured the earth. We living in a cursed time, man. Right? Death has devoured the earth. Man. The grave. Hey, guess what, man? That's that curse. And the curse has devoured the Israelites. Right? Y'all two. What's the nationality of y'all two sisters right there? What's your nationality? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Your father Puerto Rican. No, he's thinking I went. I'm thinking I went to Puerto Rican. Are you an Israelite? What about you? 
Mexican. He's Mexican. Yeah, he's Come get a word from the Lord. We out here for y'all. Yeah. Right? Mexicans and people down in Puerto Ricans are God's chosen people. Right? We, we can prove it to you. Y'all believe, believe in God? Not spiritual. Yeah. Spiritual. Yeah. All right, go to Romans chapter 7. Good. I barely see it. You believe in God? All right, we got some words. Let's say he's spiritual. Yeah. Right, Rico? The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 14. Oh. For we know that the law is spiritual. What the Lord say? For we know, know that, that the law is spiritual. So the law is spiritual. Right? So if you want to know about the laws of God, if you want to know if you're keeping the laws of God, then you will be a spiritual person. You know any of the laws of God? You know, like the Ten Commandments? Well, there's Ten Commandments or the other teachings and the other laws of God that God has well. Right? Go to Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. So I have a question. You see this book right here, this big book? Do you think there's only ten laws in here? For man to be governed by on earth. There's 613 of them. Right? So there's 613 laws in the Bible that the Israelites have to try and keep every day. But then you ask yourself, well, who are the Israelites? Who are the laws commanded to? The laws commanded to the Israelites. Right? Uh, what you want? Alright, can you go to Psalms 50 and 5? Right? So we have to understand these laws were given to our specific people. And I'm going to read about the specific people. Can you go to Deuteronomy 10? Alright, switch it up. Yeah, Psalms. read that. It's the book of Psalms. Chapter 50 and verse 5. Right. Gather my saints together unto me. Right. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Right. So we made a covenant with God by sacrifice to receive his law. Right? In the Old Testament, when Moses led, out of, uh, led us out of ancient Egypt, right, kind of split the Red Sea. Right? He, and uh, God gave us a contract to keep his commandments. If we do, we get blessed. If we don't, we get cursed. Well, we're going to read about some of those curses as well to show that we are God's children. Book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. The Lord said, this is the, the book, book of the, of the commandments, commandments of God. God right? And the law that endureth forever. Right, so the law endures forever. So if you want to be spiritual, you want to be keeping the laws of God. Because the laws of God have no expiration. Right? It's forever. Right, read on. All they that keep it shall come to life. The Lord say, All, All they, they that keep it shall come, come to life. life. Right? But such as leave it shall die. And that's why you have a lot of death in the earth because they left the laws of God. Right? They don't want to keep the law. The law's done away with. But then you see all these murders that happen to our people every day. Right? Then you see all these people dying. Right? On hands of gang violence. Killing each other. Robbing each other. Right? All time in all South America. And in America itself. Right? Because guess what? We left the law and we died. Right? We can start looking at that. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 10 and verse 15. Oh! Only the Lord had a delight in thy father to love them. And he chose their seed after them. And the what? He, he chose their, their seed, seed after them. Right, so the God of the Bible chose y'all seed, uh, chose y'all father, father seeds and y'all seeds after y'all. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of Israel. And God is only dealing with y'all. That's why we do everything the best. As you hear with the music, we got the best music, man. Make me want to dance right now, right? Guess what? We got the best cooks, right? right. We got the best athletes, because God only chose y'all seed. Right? Read on. Even you above all people. No, we equal. Above all people. Hey, guess what? We're above all people on the face of the earth and everything that we do. Right? These other nations, they can't cook like our women. They can't jump as high as us or a damn box like us or you know, do anything like us. But how come we do everything the best when we're at the lowest state of the uh, society? We're at the bottom of society. How come? Why is that? Y'all know? It makes no sense, right? Yeah, of course that works. Right? They need us for, hey, we, we damn make the society run. They need us as workers, right? They need us to be in their damn arenas, right? To, to pack the stands, right? But guess what? We don't want anything. We're going to read about that. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. That's 5,000 years ago. You know what? But it shall come to pass. What the Lord say, but it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It is going to happen, right? If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right? To observe to do all his commandments. If you bless the Spanish and Native Americans, the Israelites, do not keep my commandments. Right? If you don't listen to what I say as your heavenly father, right? Read on. And his statutes which I command thee this day, right? That all these curses, all these good things, all, all these, these curses, curses so I will bless you. All, all these curses read on. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now there's 43 curses God gave to his people that still apply to them today. Read verse 46. Right? So we're gonna read three curses. Right? And I want to ask you, who does this who does this book belong to? We're going to see if it belongs to the Chinese people. Right? We're going to see if it belongs to the East Indies. We're going to read about some of these curses that God's people will be in. And we'll see who can relate to them today. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. What the Lord saying? Cursed, Cursed shall thou, thou be, be in the city. city. Why are they living in the cities of Puerto Rico? You know? I know. What about Nicaragua? Poor. Poor, right? What about you? What about Mexico? But how are they living in the cities? They're good over there. 
Japan? In Mexico? Yeah. What about Sinaloa? You've never seen it. Depends with your affiliation. See that? <laughs> you see that? What about America? How is our people living in general? Right? Are we living in the best neighborhoods? Right? Or are we going back to, you know, to the partners? Right? Going back to the hood. Right? With a brother on the stoops. Nigga. Right? That's that's our hey, that's and we game banking all day. Guess what? We cursing the cities. No, we don't. And curse shall out be in the field. Who's cursing the slave fields? Do y'all know? Weren't we in the slave fields when Columbus came? Right, and Cortez, right, kind of put y'all to work, right? Guess what? That's a curse on his people. Five thousand years ago, and it happened in 1519, 1542. Right? Read them. See that? Read a verse uh, 48, 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So when we bring out these curses, it should be upon us for a sign. Right, how you can see McDonald's or Subway, and you know by the sign by looking at it, or a Walgreens, you know it's Walgreens by the sign. Right, that's the same way you look at these curses, you know who God's people are. You know what I mean? And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. No, for 20 years. Upon, upon thy, thy seed forever. For 30 years. And upon, upon thy, thy seed, seed forever. forever. So it's 2021, the curses still apply to God's people today. Read verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. What the Lord say? Therefore thou God shalt serve thy enemies. So God said this people are going to serve their enemies. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Whenever they get hungry, they can't make their own food from scratch. They can't, you know, they can't plant their own gardens. They got to go to their grocery stores. Right? They got to go to them, McDonald's. Right? They got to go to their enemies for food. Right? Read on. And in thirst. What the Lord say? And, and in thirst. thirst. Right? They want them to drink. They got to go to Dizani. They got to go to Aquafina. Right? They gotta go to Ice Mountain, Sprite, Coca Cola. They gotta go to their enemies for if they wanna drink something. Read on. And in naked. What the Lord say? And in naked. Hey, they gotta go. Hey, what's in that Nike bag? Right? Is that clothes? Yeah. And some Air Force Ones? Like clothes, right? Guess what? You gotta go to your enemies and nakedness. Right? If you want clothes, you gotta get Champion. You gotta get Nike. Right? I gotta get damn Levi's. Damn. I gotta, we gotta get these things, man. Because the Lord said that's gonna be a curse that happened to his people. They gotta serve their enemies. Right? Read on. And in what of all things? So if you want to leave this country and go explore the world, you kind of got to get a passport, right? You got to go down to Jesse's secretary and write them, damn, and, and get your ID checked out, right? You got to get a marriage certificate, death certificate, you got to pay taxes, anything you want to do, guess what? You got to go to your enemy's school. They got to kind of sign off on it, right? That's not, that's not life. God didn't break the world and say, you know what? We're going to set up the so-called white man. We're going to serve him. And whatever he says to do, y'all got to do it. He didn't do that, man. Right. But guess what? We broke his commandments. So now we got, if we don't want to serve God, we got to serve our enemy, right? Read that in Leviticus 26 and 17. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse... Repent and keep the commandments. All right, read on. In verse 17, All right. and I will set my face against you. What the Lord say? And I will set my face against you. Right. And you shall be slain before your enemy. What the Lord say? And you, you shall, shall be slain, slain before your enemy. enemy. Aren't the cops killing us, so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, at the highest rate in the country? Right, we are then in these prisons and they kind of whooping us, beating us. Right next, you know, we move up. It's a suicide. Right, read on. They that hate you shall reign over you. The Lord say, They that hate you shall reign over you. Now, who reigns over us? The same people that hate us. Right, that ice kind of knocks down the door, kind of throws the grandma this way, takes the kids, it takes the father, and now they're in cages in Arizona. Huh? Still waiting for trial, huh? For the last two years, man. Huh? Guess what? They that hate you shall reign over you. Right, read on. And ye shall flee when none pursueth. And if ye will not, and if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me. But if you still don't listen to me after I see you, I'm, I'm, I'm letting your enemies destroy you. Or I'm letting your enemies reign over you. And you don't want to repent. All you want to do is sin, right? And all you want to do is your own lust of your flesh. Read on. Then I will punish you seven times more. Well, I'm going to stop punishing you. Then I will punish, punish you seven, seven times, times more. I'm going to up. Then I will punish you seven times more. Like any, like any father would, man. You're going to keep whooping your ass. Right? You're not going to stop punishing you if you don't get it. Guess what? We broke his commandments. Now we got to keep getting whipped in the society. No matter how great of a people you are. Right? We don't. For your sin. Right? For your sins. Go on. And I will break the pride of your power. Uh -huh. I know we got to go. We got a time. All right. Y'all, y'all, here's a lot of points in the Bible. Right? Y'all got to find that Bible. Right? Look, look up the Israelites on YouTube, man. That's our true nationality. All right? All right. All right. Come. I'll pray for you. All right, bringing out the word, man. Planet, planet cities, man. All right. I don't know. I think I gave me a little seventh spirit. I didn't know. I didn't know it. I know. Yeah, I seen it. Okay, fine. All right. So we know. We know. Yeah. Go to First Corinthians chapter six.
What's going on? Come get a word, brother. Come get a word, brother. Brother, I like your hat. Thank you, thank you. I like, I like your shirt too. Thanks. Y'all believe in God? Y'all got 30 seconds to hear his words? Two scriptures? Hey, he said, no. 30 seconds? I gave 30 seconds. Hey, James don't want to hear anything. He's going to do his own thing. And I even gave him two compliments. No, yeah, his hat don't match his shirt. Right? I'm trying to bring it in. I'm trying to bring it in. I'm trying to be vicious for this thing. Right? Go to Jeremiah 16 and 16. Right? We, but we can only be fishing for so long, man. Huh? We can only fish for so long. Right? Go to Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 16 and 16. The book of Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. Right. Out. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord. Right? And that's what we're doing right now. Right? Go to Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 16. We're teaching. We're fishing. We're building. However you want to call it. All the same. we sealing. All right? We, that's what we're doing. All right? Read on. And they shall fish them. And, that was, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to fish them, right? We don't. And after will I send for many hunters? The Lord say. And after I will, will I send for many hunters? And after he gonna send for many hunters, man. And and guess we not, they're not gonna be asking. They're not gonna be trying to be polite. Hey, brother, brother with the nice dreadlocks. You are Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. And they shall hunt them. And that's gonna do what? And they, and they shall, shall hunt, hunt them. We're gonna hunt men like this, man. Right? We're gonna stop asking. We're gonna stop trying to persuade. And we're going to get straight to the point, right? We're going to get straight to the chains around the neck. Right? And they're going to have to come all the way back right to our place of uh, dwelling. Right. right. Read on. From every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. That's it. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 30 and verse 20. Right. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, right? And though we in tribulation, though the Lord kind of afflicting us, read on. And the water of affliction, right? Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. And that's what we are doing is teaching our people. Right? And that's what we gotta do. I what the Lord commanded us to do. I used to watch and to watch over the flock. If we don't do that, keep what is Zechariah 11 and 17. If we don't do that, the Lord said, well unto us. Right? Do y'all believe in God? Do you believe in God, our sister? You, uh, what's your nationality? You, huh? Mexican. You're Mexican? Right? Hey, come hear the words of the Lord. Mexicans are God's chosen people. Right? Come hear the words. Escucha la palabra. All right? They want to feel good. They want to feel good. Uh, whatever. The book of Zechariah. Chapter 11 and verse 17. No. No. Woe to the idle shepherd. What did the Lord say? Woe, Woe to, to the, the idle shepherd. shepherd. So destruction to us if we don't bring out these uh to the to the, the words to these beautiful sisters right here. What's your nationality? We're not like sheep. Y'all no, I said nationality, oh. not religion. African-American. Are y'all believe in God? Yeah. Y'all read the Bible before? Now when God created the nations on the earth, you know, he created, you know, the Caucasian, the Asian, right? Did he call us the black? Did he, did he see that, you know, the color like that behind you? Look behind you. Did he see that color and say, you know what? I'm going to make these people brown, but I'm going to call them black. He didn't do that, did he? So what did God call them? Want to find out? All right, let's go to the Now, hey, guess what? God created all eight nations that you know here on the earth. Now, he has blessings and he has curses. He has promises and inheritance. But you got to find out who you are in the Bible to see if you can get those things. You don't want to see if you can get the inheritance. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 15. Wow. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them. Right, so he chose hey, he, he chose the Israelite seed after them. Right, read on. Even you above all people. The Lord say. Even you above, above all, all people. people. The Lord chose all above all people on the face of earth. Read on. As it is this day. As it is this day. It was 2021. And y'all agree to that's right. Hey, y'all, uh, uh, the daughters of God, literally. Right? That's y'all inheritance. Right? So, what if we're wrong chapter 28? But how do we know what it is wrong? Well, I can be lying up. I can be like a Christian pastor. I can be asking my friend. You never know. Right? I can be bored. I read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. Right? But it shall come to pass. Right? Now, this Bible verse is written over 5,000 years ago. But the greatest thing about the Bible is it gives it a foretelling of the future. Read on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Right, so it's going to happen if you 
don't keep my commandments as my chosen people, as my nation, written over 5,000 years ago, right, read on. That all these curses, all these good things, that all, all these, these curses going, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now there's 43 curses in this in this chapter showing who God's chosen people are. Because everybody wants to be God's chosen people. Right, you have the so-called Jewish man, right, with that thing on his head trying to be your Right, but guess what? They don't fit these curses. Now we're going to read some of these curses. I'm going to ask for Christ. Because it may be them. Right, read verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. What the Lord say? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Now, if you look at Chicago, how do we live in Chicago? I don't live here. You don't live here? Where, do you, where are you from? Minnesota. Minnesota? Yeah, how do we live in Chicago? I don't believe that. Like, how do we, what are our living conditions? Do we live in the high rises down here? Right, do we own our buildings? Right? Or do, do, you know, do we own the liquor stores? Or do we kind of just shoot each other and just kind of gang bang on each other? Right? Kind of just. Leave the children, we in and out of jails. How do we live in the city? Oh, crackheads. Is there crackheads in Chinatown? They don't exist, don't do that. Right? Or you go to kind of go to Greek town. They don't exist. But why is it in our homes? Alright? Where are you from some mini Minnesota? I know I'm in how's Minneapolis. Alright? Where are you from in Minnesota? Okay, okay, so how so how is it down there? Right for our people. We live in the best conditions. Not so where, where, what about you? Where are you from? Chicago. Yeah. So how do we live in Chicago? Yeah, it's not good, right? But the Lord said, "Curse shall thou be in the city." Right, read on. And curse shall thou be in the field. What the Lord say? And, and curse shall thou be in the field. Have you ever heard of cotton field? Yeah. Well, now, what is the story behind a cotton field? I was picking cotton slaves, right? What is it? Now the Lord said, "Now we can be cursed in the field." Yeah. Now His chosen people can be cursed in the slave field, the cotton field. Now that applies to us. Now if if these now that's just two, that's one curse in the Bible. If that applies to so-called Israelites, I mean uh, Israelites, guess what? Who are we according to the Bible? Who will we be according to the Bible? If these curses are on the Israelites and these curses apply to other people, who will we be according to the Bible? We will be Israelites. Right? So God is talking to the Israelites, but we fit these curses, so what, what would that make us? Read 29 and Deuteronomy, chapter 29 and verse 1. Right. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. The, black people. the children of Israel. The children of Israel. So what's our nationality? Read it again. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. He's speaking to black people. The children of Israel. African American. The children of Israel. Negro. Israel. So what's our nationality? All right, come. So now y'all find out y'all Israelites according to the Bible. All right, go to Romans chapter nine and verse three. I'm gonna show y'all something. All right, y'all, this is gonna make y'all proud. All right, hey, but you go to Deuteronomy ten and twelve. All right, read that. The book of Romans. Chapter 9 and verse 3. Now, I know that y'all know y'all Israelites, y'all the true Jews, right? The same tribe that Christ came from. Right, read on. For I, for I could wish, it's like it, for I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ right. for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Because Paul was an Israelite, right? Paul wanted to go through the things that Christ went through for his brethren and for his, uh, for his people. Read on. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who, who are, are Israelites? Israelites? Famous Paul that everybody want to quote out the Bible. Guess what? He would have looked like y'all if he was back on the face of the earth. Uh -huh. All right, read on. To whom pertaineth the adoption, right. 